South Africa came from behind to book a place in the Rugby World Cup final against New Zealand and enjoy England in the process as they snatched victory at the Stade de France tonight by one point, 16-15 winners against England. Having trailed by nine points going into the final quarter, a try from RG Snyman, which Andre Pollard, the replacement fly half, converted, had put them back to within two points. Pollard then powering over the match-winning penalty just two minutes from time, a tremendous strike to send the Springboks into the final once again. England will be will be emotionally drained after this and having led for most of the way, two early Owen Farrell penalties inside the first 10 minutes had them 6-0 up before Manny Leboc half that deficit uh, to make it 6-3. Leboc was then withdrawn as uh, the experience of Pollard, Pollard came in South Africa fell further behind, Farrell making it 9-3 before the Springbok substitute pulled the penalty back to make it 9-6 after half an hour. A Farrell penalty right on half time though restored England's six-point buffer, so they led 12-6 going in at half time. An attritional contest, ferocious at the breakdown, and being shaded by Steve Warwick's England, who were well worthy of their lead and clearly rattling the Springbok side who had defeated them then defeated them so convincingly so convincingly in the final uh, four years ago. A Farrell drop goal increased England's advantage to nine in the 54th minute, a stupendous effort from the fly half to edge England out beyond a converted try as South Africa chucked on their bench really early and the fresh legs brought reward 12 minutes from time, a line out that had been badly malfunctioning all evening Finally got it right in the attacking 22, and Munster's Archie Snyman was the man to finish off a rumbling maul, uh, dotting down to make it 15-11. Pollard, nerveless with the conversion, to bring it to 15-13. By then, by then the nerves were running high on both sides, but a late scrum penalty won by the Springboks allowed Pollard a chance to kick at the post from just inside his own half. The substitute absolutely nailed it, powerfully and accurately sending the kick through the posts and from there South Africa sealed saw the win winning a scrum and booting the ball out uh, to book a place in the Rugby World Cup final against New Zealand on Saturday night for England the unwanted prospect of the third place playoff awaits them against Argentina on Friday after a night full of drama here full time in the Rugby World Cup semi-final at the Stade de France England 15 South Africa 16.